the most optimal way to play Hunt for History for free to plays and low spenders. Let's go! What's going on my beautiful governors? Welcome to a new Rise of Kingdoms video. Today we will play Hunt for History together, together, together and talk about how to play this event the most optimal way. How to get 30 hammers fast, what is the correct way to use those hammers, how many hammers do you need on average to get the legendary blueprints, does hammers actually disappear when the event ends or can you save them for later etc. I simply love this event even though the number of hammers you get for free are only 30, let me show you that. The way you get your hammers are 10 from the map collection, 10 from defeating barbarians and 10 from barbarian forts. But being able to target specific items with this event is so valuable in my opinion and we simply have every single epic legendary equipment piece in the game including the set pieces. If you take a look at the epics we have every single epic and if you look at the legendaries again we have lots of legendaries. Obviously not accessories but the others all are here. The goal for free to plays and low spenders should be reaching level 5 to get 6 legendary blueprint fragments. In other words, if you complete Hunt for History level 5 6 times, you will complete a legendary blueprint of your choice. They are not random, we select, we can actually target the blueprint. And while we are trying to reach level 5, I mean floor 5, we will also get 24 epic blueprint fragments which is also amazing in my opinion 6 fragments per floor so in total it's 24. As I said there are 3 free ways to collect those hammers in total we get 30 hammers for free here are a few tips for those activities. While killing barbarians and gathering resources may or may not give you hammers this depends on your luck but destroying barbarian forts 100% gives you a hammer so 10 forts equals 10 hammers all the time forts always give you a hammer that's for sure the second tip will be about map collection uh, gathering resources on the map if you guys didn't know you don't actually need the farm resource tiles until it is finished gathering around i don't know the exact number but 200k to 250k resources are enough to give you a hammer so instead of farming the tiles until they are finished keep recalling your troops when they gather around 250k resources and then send them back to the same resource tile because resource gathering is the lowest probability activity to get a hammer like you may need to gather resources 30 times or 40 times just to get 10 hammers so reducing gathering speed in total will help you a lot for getting those hammers as soon as possible when it comes to average number of hammers that you need to get six legendary blueprints it's completely based on my own experience by the way and I will say at least 50 to 60 hammers in total. I generally use 10 to 15 hammers per floor to get the blueprint. Sometimes you have to use a lot more but sometimes you do actually get the blueprint on your first click. Oh, Spartan I only get 30 hammers for free so how the hell am I supposed to use 60 or 50 hammers? Okay for that we have two options. My advice is to spend gems. I think it's definitely worth it. I'm a super low spender and I always spend some amount of gems to get to floor 5 for legendary blueprints. However, if you are free to play or uh, if you don't have enough gems for some reason, what you can do is to save them. Yes, for some reason, some people think that those hammers disappears when the event ends. But no, you can actually save those hammers for the next Hunt for History event. So 30 from the first one, 30 from the second one, 60 hammers in total for free and that should get you the legendary blueprints. So spend gems if you have them. But if not, save your hammers for the next time because if you cannot get that 6 legendary blueprint fragments, this event doesn't have actually that much value. Now, here is a stupid trick for you. This is completely, again, based on my own experience and it is most likely just a superstition but I will explain it anyway while we are playing the event. So, without further ado, let's start hunting for history. For epics, I'm gonna select Heart of the Saint because I don't have... Uh, much of this blueprint so my trick is I'm gonna start manually clicking and if I can get the blueprint early then for the next floor I'm gonna click on auto but if I get it late I'm gonna do it manual again let me show you let's see come on oops still nothing still nothing Still nothing. 
Okay, so I will definitely do the second floor manually. That's for sure. I mean, based on my... Based on my belief. Okay. We got the blueprint. Second floor. We are gonna do it manual again. We spent like... Holy... Like... 18? What? That's too much. Come on. Come on, Lilith. Oh, come on now. Oh, wait, wait. Look. Can you see it? It's here. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. So, as you can see this time, we got it early. Now, I will go to auto. I will click on auto. Let's see. Dig. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, let's get some hammers. I think I will need like 15 or 16 more. Auto again. Let's see. Come on. That was too late. So we are going to do the order again. Let's see if this time we can get it uh, early. That was actually that was actually super unlucky. Okay, as you can see, we got it early. Now we go back to manual. I mean, I don't know if it works or not, but I just do it. I like it. I like to do it this way. And my legendary blueprint will be infantry. Uh, yes, infantry set clothes. Because, wait, let me double check. Oh, people are fighting. They're gonna kill me. I'm here making videos. Mm, where is it? There it is. So I have 16 here. I have 6 here. So in total that's 22. And when I get 8, it's going to be 30. And I'm going to be done with it. So let's go back to Hunt for History. And as I said, this time we are going to do it manual. Because we get it too early uh, when it was on auto. But don't count on it. Like It's, it's just my superstition. But as you can see, it didn't let me down so far. Uh, let's get like five more. Boom. There it is. Let's go. We have four hammers left. So I don't know how many hammers we've used so far. I will probably uh, count it and put it on the video right now. You should be able to see that. So that is how you should play Hunt for History. If you are free to play or a low spender. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did. A simple like and subscribe only takes one second, but helps the channel a lot. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for watching the video. I see you on the next one. Bye.